Given H of P is the hours of overtime needed when a prison is overpopulated by P prisoners, and P of T is the number of prisoners a prison is overpopulated by during year T, we are asked to find a function for the number of hours of overtime needed at a prison in year T. So we're asked to find the function all right, where the output is the number of hours of overtime needed in year T. So we need an output and input year T. So we really asked now if we use the notations that have been used already, notice that H was the hours of overtime needed and T was the year. And so notice what we really need is H of T. All right, we need a function whose input is the time uh, and year, year t, and whose output is the number of hours of overtime needed. Now notice that if in the given functions, for this function, the input is the year, and the output is the number of prisoners the prison is overpopulated by. And for the H of P function, the input is that same number of prisoners etc and the output is the hours of overtime needed so what we need to do here is we need to take that output from the original function and use it as the input for the h function. Sorry, I didn't say that clearly. We need to use the output for p of t and use it as the input for h of p. And the notation that we can use for that looks like this. h of t is h of p of t. And that's the notation that we use. Now in the later example, we will actually have some symbolic forms of functions and that we will manipulate to get a new function, which we call the composite function.